I'm Benedict Carter, Head of Auction Sales for the Middle East Department at Sotheby's in London, and I'm here to talk about a very special sale that we'll be holding on the 27th of October. The LA Mai Museum for Islamic Art in Jerusalem is home to a renowned collection of Islamic art and watches, and we'll be selling a group of 190 pieces, including fine rugs and carpets. The museum was founded by Vera Salomon. Together with her tutor, Professor Leo Arie Meyer, the well-known scholar of Islamic art and archaeology, they decided to found the museum on the principle that appreciation of Islamic art and culture could help the peaceful coexistence of Jewish and Arab peoples. To help form the museum, Vera Salomon's enlisted the help of Richard Ettinghausen, the towering figure of the study of Islamic art in the 20th century. And you can really sense the eye of uh, Richard Ettinghausen when looking at the pieces coming up for sale in the selection at Sotheby's. Two such pieces which I'm standing in front of here. The star highlight of the auction at Sotheby's is this fantastic silver inlaid Akoyunlu turban helmet from the 15th century. These so-called turban helmets are called so because of their shape, which roughly mimics that of a turban, but also because of the size. The decoration of this turban helmet is all in uh, silver inlay, and it comprises mostly Arabic verses, but also some Persian poetry. It's thought that a number of these helmets were captured in battle, and many came back to, to Turkey. We know that because there is a small stamped seal Moving on to this item, this is another truly rare object also from the second half of the 15th century. What we have here is a, an Iznik hanging ornament that was probably once part of a suite, uh, including a mosque lamp, which would have hung either in a mosque or a tomb. And it's made in Iznik in northwestern Turkey. And it's one of fewer than 20 pieces from this very early group of Iznik pottery. It's characterized by this very dark, inky blue-black. What's interesting is that there are only three pieces with what we think is Arabic calligraphy, but actually it's only this one which is legible. We have the classic Rumi motifs, which are interlacing split palmettes. Uh, and here in the center, we can see them uh, as a background to the calligraphy. So these are just two pieces in uh, a sale of almost 200 lots that we'll be holding uh, on the 27th of October and most of these pieces haven't been on the market for almost 60 years. And we hope that in supporting this sale, we'll be continuing the museum's quest for cultural dialogue in the appreciation of Islamic art.